Here's Brody Brazil. I'm, I, I like Nick Allen. like the fact that he homered last night. like the fact that he's undersized. I'm watching Tony Kemp at, uh, at bat right now. Same reason I like TK. I root for the smaller players who are maybe not overshadowed, but, but are not given the same opportunity because of stature or, or not given the same recognition or hype because somebody looks at him and says, well, what, what are they going to do? So I love, I love Nick Allen with the A's. And I, I'm wondering if this is the call-up. I'm wondering if this is the time where he comes up and stays. He was up in, was it May? Most of May, a big part of May, and uh, got sent back down. You understand that's going to be the course of any you know young emerging player. They're not necessarily, like, Pache is a rarity. He's up, he's staying up, there's no going back. Uh, so, you know, here and there is, is not um, uncommon for young players, but I'm, I'm hoping that this now is the chance for him to be a middle infielder. I don't know what that means for, you know, a Tony Kemp playing time or an Elvis Andrews playing time. But uh, if this is going to be something to look forward to the rest of the season, then I, I'm down for it. That's what the A's need. Their record is what it is. Their, their outlook as a team is what it is. So I'm kind of reverting back to 2017 feelings all over again, right? When Olsen and Chapman came up and it was you know, kind of a turn, like you could, you could see what's next. If that's what we're getting with Nick Allen, uh, one of the guys who you could say that's next then I'm excited about that.